Welcome to the sixth and the last video of this playlist. This one is going to be about how we can run the same simulation and optimization for the skin of the building rather than the slabs to get the uh, heating load in the building or inside the building. So let's put this again. So one thing we can do here, we can create a surface on these guys to make sure we are going to run the analysis for this one. And I can take this oops, with the wire display and hidden. So take this in. And the next thing that I wanted to do is to create a stream filter, right? Because I can say, okay, do the same thing, do this thing, clear this all off. And we can add a value list. I can edit this and then say, delete all this, of course. Delete this too, delete this too. And the first one is going to be, say, facade. Second one is the slabs. All right. So if I wanted to connect the facade, we are going to receive results of the facade, right? So the next thing that I can do is I can preview this off. But for the facades, what I can do here is when I put the untrimmed surfaces, let's connect them here. And let's run the very first analysis. And this is going to be quite important. So I would be putting, um, I would be putting, uh, I think it's such here and creating a group here and this group needed to be red as a flag okay and one thing that now we can do is to run this analysis just to see the idea here is to divide these grids of the panels in a larger fashion so that we can see what's happening on each and every facade panel that we plan to put Right, but still it's not that like that so we may need to increase the size i don't know maybe 10. if we make it 10 let's see what will happen it's gonna take a lot yes now you see each facade panel has sort of a has sort of a sort of one single smaller thing but for this one obviously 500 makes a bit like less sense because now we are having a lot less uh sensors so when we put 200 you see some images but obviously regardless of this uh we are having a lot of different uh like context buildings here that's why it's taking a lot less and like a lot less sun energy and this is the north side and Let's let's see. Let's see what we are going to have. And what would happen if we just preview this on, preview this off? You see, it has like again like 250 or something similar. So the colors are quite quite kind of um uh, really see some consistency or they're coherent one another. And if I come over here and then run this. Probably it's going to take, it's going to be a bit faster. And then I'm going to like, let's start our solar. We are like, we are having good colors, bad colors. Like maybe I can put the, but let's see what we are seeing here. Like, if we are about to do an analysis as such like even a small value is important for us and also it's important to keep in mind all the like parameters that we are putting they supposed to be like measurable you know the variant that we put like minus 10 to 10 or the floor heights or like anything that you want to put in they can be uh they can be your they can they need to be under your control so let me pause for a second here just to have kind of a results here and then i'll be concluding this series all right we gained some we started to 
get some results and you see again it starts with like 2022 and then we hear it again 2022 but i think this digit is the thing so since we are now going into the optimization with galapagos we'll be doing detailed exercises related to this but this is a good kind of um, warm-up for you to understand the general concept of galapagos so maybe it's a good time to wrap things up as they are actually as it's being as it's running uh in the background so you see it's still trying to find a better result in terms of less heat gain and that's pretty much all for this video series i hope you enjoyed it and subscribe our channel if you haven't yet and i'll see you in the next playlist or the videos have a nice day